Hello YouTube. So today I'll be giving you an idea on how long it'll take your um, sundew seeds and cuttings to reach maturity. So here's a um, pot of seeds that I germinated. These are Drosia capensis typical. I germinated um, in spring. So I collected in spring and I um, put them in the fridge and sowed them in this pot. They, these seeds, after germinating, they are three months old. And this is what you'll be probably expecting. There's some big ones, there's some small ones. And just a quick quick note, if you're interested in like selective breeding or like creating cultivars for your capensis, it, the easiest ones to create is the like vigorous ones. So you might want to um, cross-pollinate two vastly different plants or self-pollinate a decently vigorous plant. And the fastest growing plants, you can um, wait and grow them to maturity and let them flower and then and then do the re repeat the process again. And some plants, as you can see, there's huge difference. These these seeds are same same age. You can see some teeny weeny ones down there and some massive ones right here. So there's, there's the difference. So, um, I'm Asian Slack said that out of like 1,000 seeds, only one could, should be selected as a cultivar. And after around six months, their plant should look like that. So that's a so they grow very fast. So let's do deal with cuttings. Cuttings for different species, it's different. Like it's different. So I have a couple examples here. So these. Is, um, let's say these set of water cuttings, they still haven't budded yet. They're around like, usually, oh, let's skip that. Usually when like, um, when you put your cuttings in water, it takes around, it depends. So for different species, like for a uh, Drosera spatulata or like uh, those trop subtropical rosetted sundews, it'll take usually a good one month to bud. But in, on the other hand, um, stay cone sundews like Drosera benita, benata, um, they they usually bud during like one week, like one and a half week, so half a month. And these plants are actually just barely a like barely a month old, and they're looking very good. These are Drosera benita, um, variation Digitoma giant, and. These cuttings are even younger. These are uh, Drosica capensis alba form. This is around a couple weeks old. And these these cuttings, this is the tropical rosetted sundew Drosera spatulata. Um, these are um, around one month old. Which they are rather slow growing. This is around um, three months. So you can see the difference. Um, one month, three months. So, and... Yeah, that's just quickly um, for um, if you have a Cape Sundew cuttings going like going on, you can after around eight months they should look like that, very big, and yeah, that's just a quick idea. Oh yeah, um, these ones after around five months they should look like this. These Digitoma Giant Sundew, and they will look gorgeous, and yeah. Um, if you have some other like um, climbing tuber sundew, they'll take quite a long time to bud actually. So if you're interested in learning more about cuttings, you can um, go to like look at my ultimate um, Drosera um, cutting guide. It will help a lot with like it'll teach you um, all the steps to like propagating your sundews for cuttings. So. Yeah, like and subscribe if you like my content, um, and if you like my videos, please show your support. Um, comment below if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the next video.